Hi all, this is going to be um, a good week. We're going to be finishing up our chapter 5 uh, trigonometry section. And on Monday and Tuesday, we're going to review for the chapter 5 test. On Monday, we're going to do half of a practice review sheet. And on Tuesday, we're going to do the other half. Um, you will need to turn that in by Wednesday at 4 p.m. And then Wednesday and Thursday, we'll be taking a three-part chapter 5 test. Parts 1 and 2 will be in Math Excel. Part 1 will consist of 16 questions. One of the questions is an algebra question because um, I have to put one question from our primary textbook on that test, like just like the um, test that we had in Chapter 3. So one of them will be an algebra question, which won't count towards your points. Um, but the other 15 questions will be from Chapter 5. And you will have 50 minutes to take Part 1. Part two will be 11 questions, one of them algebra, um, so that won't count towards the test. So overall, 10 questions from chapter five, and you'll have 40 minutes to complete part two. Each of the Math Excel parts, you will only have one attempt, so make sure that you are prepared to take the test before you actually sit and open it up and start it. Um, and that that is, what your chapter five test review should be all about. You should be prepared. You should know whether you're ready to take the test or not, because many of the questions on the math Excel test will be very similar to the ones on the review worksheet. And then finally, part three, you'll have 30 minutes to take part three. It is only four questions, two of which are proofs, verifications. So make sure that you um, know all of your basic primary um, identities you will be allowed to use the identity, the trigonometric identity worksheet that um, will be attached to the paper test. Your parents will be emailed the paper test and um, they will print that out for you. So do not bring your own identity sheet. Make sure that your parents print your test out and because that identity sheet that you'll be able to use will be attached to your test. For all the parts, Math Excel and the paper test, you must show all of your work. So for Math Excel, you must number each of the problems. Everybody's test will be a little bit different. Problems will be out of order. You must number all of the problems on your test and you must show all of your work. I need to see paper work for all of the problems on Math Excel. If there is a problem that doesn't have work, then you are to write the problem number and say no work required on there. So make sure that there is work for every single problem on your paper and that I get pictures for all of that work. And then on Friday, we are gonna start studying for our chapter two test, the one that we did not take um, when we came back from spring break. So we'll, we will be preparing for our chapter two test on Friday and on Monday and then the following Tuesday, we'll be taking our chapter two test and we will be done for the semester when that is done. And you will see that chapter two will, will seem very easy after we've gone through chapters three, four, and five, because I believe chapter two is where we learned and utilize most of the identities um, that we, like the Pythagorean, the reciprocals, um, the definitions of uh, our right trigonometric um, identities, for instance, what is sine of theta? It is y over r, all of those. So we learned that in chapter two. So that should seem pretty easy now. So we will begin studying for our chapter two test and we will be taking that chapter two test next Tuesday. So that is what we will be doing for this week.